The first segment you will see involves a woman with a significant movement disorder. Try not to be distracted by the movements in her lower face. Please focus your attention on her eyebrows. In the second segment, notice this patient's blinking. Try not to be distracted by the other facial movements. Notice the blinking takes place during the finger tapping exercise. This is one of the activated movements. The one point score reduction used by some examiners is not recommended. The score on the screen does not include any such reduction. The second body area to be scored upon completion of the AIMS examination is that of the lips and perioral area. The examiner is looking for evidence of puckering, pouting, and smacking. This segment features a rather subtle lip movement. Notice the sucking in the lower lip. You may think this movement is minimal and give a score of one. This would be too low. Remember, one is used for borderline movements, movement which may actually be extreme normal. This movement is too persistent to be extreme normal and should be scored two. Please notice the frequent movement of the mouth in this segment. Segment five shows obvious perioral movements. This man's movement disorder also involves the neck muscles, which should be scored on section seven of the examination. For now, focus on just the perioral movements. Notice the frequency also the amplitude, that is to say, the size of the movements. The third body area to be scored on the Ames examination involves the jaw. The examiner is looking for biting, clenching, chewing, mouth opening, and particularly lateral movement. Lip movements caused by jaw movements should not be scored. Clenching of jaw muscles can be noticed in front of this man's ear. Segment eight illustrates a slow chewing movement. Notice the jaw movement in this segment. The lip movement is secondary to the jaw movement and should not be scored. The patient in segment 10 has constant jaw movement. Notice the frequency and amplitude of the movement does not change. It is the same before, during, and after the activating exercise of extending the arms. This is a good example of why a point should not be subtracted when scoring movements detected during an activating exercise. Mm -hmm. 
Segment 11 is quite short and will be shown three times. Notice the increased frequency and amplitude of this woman's jaw movements compared to the previous segment. 